it's me again, your Electro Buddy, Jun Sedi Balsamo. And for today's video, we will be comparing the Intel Celeron N 3160 versus the Intel Celeron N 4100. So for today, which do you think of them is performing better than the other? At the end of this video, we will know which of the two is better in terms of their raw compute power, which of them is more powerful in terms of their single thread scores, and lastly, which of them is more energy efficient in terms of their maximum TDPs. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. I am just a student and this is not a professional advice. So, without further ado, let's go to our discussion. Intel Celeron N3160 was launched on January 15, 2016. It is a quad-core system-on-chip or SOC for entry-level notebooks. This processor is based on Airmont microarchitecture. On the other hand, Intel Celeron N4100 was released on December 11, 2017. It is also a quad-core SOC similar with the Celeron N3160 but this is based on Goldmont Plus microarchitecture. So, based on their release dates, do you have already an idea whether which one is better in terms of performance? Let us look closer to their respective technical specifications. For the CPU or Central Processing Unit, N3160's clock speed is 1.60 GHz while N4100's is 1.10 GHz. This means that the higher the clock speed, the faster the CPU to retrieve and interpret instructions. In terms of frequency, N3160's frequency is 2239.08 MHz, while the N4100's is 2287.49 MHz, a little bit higher than the former. In terms of threading, both have single CPU with 4 cores and 4 threads. For the motherboard, N3160's North Bridge is Intel Braswell Host Bridge Rev35 and its South Bridge is Intel Braswell LPC Bridge Rev35. Meanwhile, N4100's North Bridge is Intel Gemini Lake Host Bridge Rev03, while its South Bridge is still Intel Gemini Lake LPC Bridge Rev03. For its Random Access Memory, or the RAM, N4100's total size is twice the capacity of N3160. Other details like the GPU or the graphics processing unit, storage, and miscellaneous are also included here in the video. Still referring to CPU-Z benchmark results, N3160's single thread score is only 74. N4100's single thread score is almost 2.5 times that of N3160, obtaining a score of 184. For multi-threaded scoring, N4100 score is about twice that of N3160, showing scores of 719 and 330 respectively. Here are other additional benchmark details between N3160 versus N4100 comparison via Passmark. This is for the CPU mark rating. This is for the CPU single thread rating. And this is for the CPU power profile depicting their respective maximum thermal design powers or the max TDPs. Obviously, N4100 shows higher scores 
compared to N3160. This means N4100 performs better than N3160. Wow! Now, let's wrap up everything. In terms of raw compute power, since N4100's multi-thread score is higher than N3160, then the former gets the point. This means N4100 can perform multiple operations at once, better than N3160. In terms of single-thread performance, N4100 also wins the round because it gets higher single thread score than N3160. This means N4100 is more powerful than N3160. In terms of energy efficiency, both have a maximum TDP of 6 watts, which means that both consume 6 watts under maximum theoretical load. So, generally speaking, Celeron N4100 is better compared to N3160. So, what are your other thoughts? I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye!